Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Before we get started, don't forget about the giveaway where you can win one of four Steam or Newegg gift cards. It's free to enter and there are multiple ways to enter so check that out in the description below. What probably won't come as a surprise to my subscribers who followed the channel this past month, Intel just announced a slew of new CPUs. The mainstream SKUs have mostly been leaked, but they also announced their newest Core X enthusiast line which can be a little confusing. First, let's go over the mainstream core lineup. As the leaks suggested, these new 9th generation CPUs are soldered to the heat spreader instead of the traditional thermal goop Intel is known for. They're also compatible with Intel's current 300 series motherboards, though I've heard about some possible thermal issues with their Z370 motherboards. With that said, we'll have to wait and see because it's definitely not a substantiated claim. Either way, Intel's board partners revealed their Z390 motherboard, so hopefully it won't be a major issue. Each CPU is built on the 14 nanometer plus 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 process. O okay, it's just two pluses, but I could swear we were on 10 by now. When it comes to the CPUs themselves, Intel announced the i9-9900K, the i7-9700K, and the i5-9600K, all of which are available for pre-order with a release date of October 19th though the 9900K seems to already be sold out on Newegg, which isn't much of a surprise considering Intel's serious supply issues. Spec-wise, they're pretty much exactly what we've seen. The 9900K is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.6 GHz, a single or dual-core boost up to 5 GHz, a 4-core boost of 4.8 GHz, and an all-core boost of 4.7, which is seriously commendable until you get to the price. The MSRP is at $488, though it's pretty clear that won't be the actual price while Intel stock is in short supply since Newegg already has it at $579. The i7-9700K is an 8-core 8-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.6 GHz, a single-core boost of 4.9 GHz, dual-core boost of 4.8, 4-core boost of 4.7, and 6-8-core to boost of 4.6 GHz. The MSRP is $374, but from what I've seen so far, it's not that much more powerful than their current 6-core 8700K thanks to its lack of hyper-threading. Oh, and that processor is also over $400 on Newegg, so we're reminded that MSRP is really just a suggestion. Finally, the i5-9600K is a 6-core 6-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.7 GHz, a single-core boost of 4.6, dual of 4.5, quad-core boost of 4.4, and an all-core boost clock of 4.3 GHz. The 9600K has an MSRP of $262. Lastly, Intel announced a full new lineup of enthusiast Core X CPUs. All of these support 68 PCI Express lanes, quad channel DDR4 up to 2666, and like their mainstream line, are soldered. When it comes to power, each have a rated TDP of 165 watts. As for specs, the Core X line starts out at an 8 core 16 thread CPU, so Intel learned their lesson on offering a 4 core enthusiast chip. The A Core i9 9800X has a 3.8 GHz base clock with a 4.5 GHz boost and comes in at $589. Next is the 10-core 20-thread i9-9820X. It comes with a base clock of 3.3 GHz and a boost of 4.2, but it costs a whopping $889. For a slightly upgraded 10-core 20-thread option comes the i9-9900X with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 4.5. Unlike the 9820X, which comes with 16.5 MB of L3 cache, the 9900X has 19 25 megabytes and costs $989. Next up is the i9-9920X, a 12-core 24-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 4.5, but costs a whopping $1,189. Moving on up, we have the 14-core 28-thread i9-9940X with a base clock of 3.3 GHz and a boost of 4.5. Its price is $1,387 US. Moving on to 16 cores and 32 threads is the i9-9960X with a base clock of 3.1 GHz and a boost of 4.5. This behemoth costs a seriously high $1,684. Lastly is their 18 core 36 thread i9-9980XE with a base clock of 3 GHz and a boost of 4.5. It comes in at just shy of $2,000. Yeah, I don't think AMD has too much to worry about, but we shall see when the reviews come in. Hopefully I can get my hands on some of these. So yeah, 
I know that was a ton of information, but I really wanted to get this out there. So let me know what you're most interested in, or if you think you'll just wait for AMD's third generation Ryzen, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget about the giveaway down in the description. And as always, have a great day.